welcome my friends in this video we are going to discuss about vrf light root leaking or inter vrf light so this is nothing special similarly to inter vlan routing so what in inter vlan routing what we perform we able to communicate between two different vlan suppose this is vlan 2 and this is vlan 3 connected to two different switch and there is a trunk port goes to the router and switches and then router perform inter vlan uh, inter vlan routing so that vlan 2 can talk to vlan 3 and vlan 3 can send back reply to vlan 2 similarly we can perform uh, vrf light uh, vrf light root leaking either inter vrf light so there is two kind of root that you can leak one is the vrf light that uh, that has a multiple vrf suppose the vrf 1 and then vrf 2 and you want to exchange their routing information between each other means vrf 1 to vrf 2 and vrf 2 to vrf 1 you can perform means uh, there will be the different vrf and another one is global routing table you may have your global routing table uh, so suppose this is your isp router and these are the customer router isp may have connected to some other router goes to the internet or somewhere else you can also leak particular global routing inside vrf so this is the scenario that we are going to create video or we are going to learn or study today itself so we have two way or a two kind of vrf leaking or inter vrf routing one is from different vrf and second is from the global routing table uh, so i have already uh, created this document for you go ahead and download that one what we need to do we need to define root distinguisher as well as define vpn importing importing and exporting vrf and we also required a bgp that going to perform inter vrf routing or inter vrf routing i should say so good and these these are the things that we need to do first what we need to do define root distinguisher define the vrf uh, vpn i should say and then after importing importing and exporting from each other which you like to leak and then go ahead and uh, run a routing protocol means exterior gateway protocol known as bgp and then after uh, your instance means may be running inside particular vrf uh, suppose that vrf1 you may running ospf then send uh, redistribute that ospf inside bgp i should also describe using uh, means this is better way to describe using my uh, using my this picture good so so far we have discussed the basic one now here we are going to uh, perform inter vrf routing so suppose you may running ospf2 for core router b and ospf1 for core router a what we need to do we need to redistribute these two ospf instance inside bgp and then after now you know bgp know this network and this network or network that belong to vrf1 or vrf2 so now your bgp have all those network that connected to vrf1 or crb and cra so then after you can redistribute bgp itself itself into ospf or we instance routing instance 1 and routing instance 2 or vrf1 or vrf2 uh, here we are b and we are f a so cra crb actually so these things we need to do we need to perform and this is the topology that i am going to work with uh, let me so let me say to you this is the topology we have core router a core uh, core router b uh, that is left and right in middle we have uh, isp router so customer a and customer b uh, you can uh, download but these documents and then you can uh, understand better 
so go ahead and apply all those things so i decide to use script in cra as well as crb so cra creating a loopback interface that 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 has ip address 200 200.0.1 that is simulating or emulating as a lan and then serial interface that going to connect with the interface uh, interface with wide area network or a wan or isp i should say that has the network 200.200.1.0 and then after core router b or a customer second similarly loopback 0 network 3 emulating as a lan and then serial interface these uh, the, these are the ip addresses that we need to define uh, let me copy the configuration or or a script and uh, paste on core router it makes sure i'm working on core router here exactly excuse me this is the script and now second one is core router b copy this and paste on core router b rest of task we need to perform manually along with uh, the basic configuration i would like also using routing so router spf autonomous system one and network 0.0.0 0.0.0 area 0 you can specify uh, more significance or what you like to put inside your network but right now in customer a in customer b let me uh, let me show you the diagram where we are going to work out this one so customer a and customer b they uh, they're going to add all those network what they have connected similarly switch over to core router b router ospf1 and then after the network 0.0.0 0.0.0 and then area 0 rest of task we need to perform on your isp router so in isp router i am going to create first i would like to create vrf that is cra core router a going to connect with left hand side customer and crb I mean, that means core router B connected to right hand side uh, and go ahead and apply on particular interface so this time s1 slash 4 ip vrf forwarding in name of vrf and then after the ip address 200.200.1.2.255.255.255.0 and then after clock rate if necessary no shutdown and switch on interface s1 slash 5 up go ahead and apply another vrf and then after the ip address so this is network 2 so going to use 2.1 and also the clock rate as well excuse me and then after no shutdown good so this is the basic one apart from this i also need to apply routing inside uh, inside isp router so router ospf instance one going to use for vrf core router a and then after the network 0.0.0 0.0.0 area 0 and you can see we form neighbor adjacency similarly instance number two working for core router b and what network you like to add for now i am going to add all so they form neighbor adjacency if you uh, trying to check your routing table from uh, customer one so ip root there is nothing special than connected interface similarly on core router b so ip root it's nothing special than connected one so go ahead and perform all those tasks that we required for inter vrf routing first i also required to use ip vrf cra root distinguisher so if you you can see right there you can use rd for root distinguisher so rd and then after question marks you can uh, apply uh, using two way autonomous system asn and then after 
any number you can put right there or you have uh, you can use IP address and then after the number to make this simple since this is locally significant no need to worry I'm going to use one colon one for uh, for uh, CRA similarly CRB has RD is one colon two so we need to define now because we are going to exchange between themselves or each other apart from this I also need to import and export these VRF so router not router IP VRF CRA root router target you can export and import so right now I am going to select both from myself it as well in fact from other one so uh, on CRA we defined that please import and export the information running on you in running on CRB since we have defined CRB uh, root distinguisher is 1 colon 2 so similarly need to work with CRB and go ahead send uh, sorry uh, import and export the routing information from the CRA as well as your so your itself so you are CRB hmm, apart from this what we need to do we need to use BGP so router BGP let me let me show even then there is nothing inside your routing table you need to do all those things whatever I have mentioned inside document or in document document so I am selecting BGP1 you can take anyone and then after address family IP v4 and then uh, VRF this time CRA and redistribute OSPF1 so <laughs> inside BGP what I am going to tell to your router or our router hello VRF CRA please redistribute yourself inside BGP <laughs> so OSPF instance 1 actually related to the CRA as we know so we are going to redistribute ourselves inside BGP similarly CRB and this is OSPF instance 2 what happened actually if you do so now your BGP come to know all the root that is connected to VRF uh, CRA and VRF CRB so this is the summary what we are going to do what we are going to perform uh, we are going to pop, uh, redistribute your OSPF2 inside BGP and OSPF1 inside BGP now your BGP have all the network information that is connected to CRB and CRA and then after now uh, BGP have all the picture this picture can be redistribute with each other so using this way CRA come to know the routing information running instance VRF instance of CRB and similarly CRB come to know all those routing information that running inside CRA by help of BGP address family so let me go ahead and apply that one so now you can check your routing table as well so IP BGP IPv4 and then after all uh, IPv4 VPN IPv4 I think VPN IPv4 and then after all so you can see it two colon uh, one column one we have network 0 1 2 3 how you come to know by the BGP actually similarly one column two we have 0 1 2 3 now you may thinking that now your 
customer router they come to know all those rules that are distributed from the bgp not yet all since you are not applied yet so go ahead and apply that one so on router ospf instance 1 for vrf cra excuse me vrf cra redistribute bgp autonomous system 1 with subnet similarly uh, instance 2 that is using for crb redistribute bgp 1 with subnet so <laughs> That makes sense. That makes sense, my friend. So uh, let me take my pen. So <laughs> OSPF2 redistribute into BGP, OSPF1 redistribute to BGP. Now BGP know the information about OSPF1 and OSPF2. Now you can redistribute your BGP itself into these two routing protocol that is OSPF, VRF for. CRB and VRF for CRA. So hopefully now your customer has all the root information that you looking for. There we go. <laughs> so we have 200.200.0123 that we using so far. Similarly on core router B so IP route there we go. So 200.200.0.1. Now it's time to verify the connectivity or uh, reachability from core router B to core router A and core router A to core router B. So I'm going to enable debugging. So debug IP ICMP on customer 2 that is core router B and going to ping ping 192.192.200.200.3.1. We getting reply back successful and you can see we getting message as well that someone going to ping you, uh, pinging with you. So this is all that I want to share with you. Uh, you can also verify using the command so ipvrf and then detail I hope so. Excuse me. <laughs> I need to execute this command on. Uh, on ISP actually so IP V R F and then all not all so detail. So these things that we are going to importing, exporting, importing, exporting, and their identification, root distinguisher, and all those things. So we have discussed how we can redistribute or not redistribute how we can perform root leaking inside VRF light. So we have two way means uh, two kind of network or a root we can uh, redistribute uh, that is a global routing table and another is uh, you have a multiple instance of VRF you can apply. So suppose you may have a more than two VRF and you want to use only two to exchange their routing information you can also do on that way. For this video uh, is going to finish. So I hope so this is informative for you. Thanks for watching.